Comms Crystal Conflict Tips How to Read the Progress Indicator The Crystal Conflict Progress Indicator is awkward to read and was frankly poorly designed. This short video will help you understand exactly what you're looking at. This is the Progress Indicator. Let's start by breaking it down into the top and bottom halves. The top half is almost exclusively what you'll be paying attention to throughout a match. One side is blue and the other is red. Your team is always the blue side, which could be either the left or the right. Why they didn't make it consistent, I have absolutely no idea. This is the percentage of progress of your team, and this is the progress of the enemy team. And of course, here in the middle is the timer showing how much time is remaining in the match. Other than the blue side of the indicator randomly changing sides from game to game, it's pretty easy to read. Then there's the bottom half, which is actively trying to make me shove my palm through my face. This diamond is the crystal. If it's blue, the blue team is pushing it. If it's red, the red team is pushing it. And you can see the number of people from each team currently standing on the point. If it's purple, it means it's contested. As you can see, as the red team on the right pushes further, the bar on the bottom left extends longer. For the most part, it doesn't matter. The percentage number on the top half gives you all the information you'll need. The real fun begins when you get to 50%. Here, the enemy team is on the right, and when they hit the 50% point, you'll notice that their percentage of breaking through the checkpoint is on the left. So I have to look on the right for their overall percentage, and the left for their checkpoint percentage, which is really dumb. And it gets even more fun when you have two teams at 50% going back and forth trying to break through the checkpoint. You can't immediately look below your own overall progress to see your checkpoint progress. That's the enemy team's checkpoint progress. Your checkpoint progress is on the other side of the indicator. Mind-boggling design, but really important to understand anyways. For the most part, the top half of the indicator is all you really need to understand to be successful. However, it's important to understand the bottom portion when you have a close game where both teams are trying to push through the 50% checkpoint. Being able to glance at the progress progress indicator and know whether your team is 80% or 20% through the checkpoint could be the difference between knowing you have a couple more seconds to regroup for a 5v5 or knowing that you need to get on the point right now to keep the enemy team from winning. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments, ask me on my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash or join the PvP Revival Discord and ask the team of mentors there. You can find links to everything in the description below. And if you have a guide that you'd like to see, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to help me grow, which allows me to make more guides for you. Until next time, happy hunting!